It's a vacuum and mop combo. So what's cool about this thing, again, it's a full size mop and vacuum. But what's different about this is it has an agitator or roller that essentially looks like this. It is basically the style of a paint roller. So this wet dry vac is going to use this rotating mop bristle here, and it's gonna keep spraying water and cleaning your floor as you go. Now it's not flooding your floor. It does happen to also have a water basin. So it's got this water basin that attaches up here, higher up, and then it has the unit down there and then this roller fits under here. Now this is the second roller they give you, but what's neat about this is it's completely cordless. So you don't have to be worrying about cords, but I just wanted to show you very quickly, if I wanted to turn this thing on, I gotta go up here and hit the button. It's gonna be a little bit noisy. It's cleaning my table right now. Now you can see that it's actually leaving a little bit of water, but it is actually cleaning and this is rotating here. There's the digital display that it has. Unfortunately, you can't see that, and this is probably really loud. So that was a lot of noise. So what did we accomplish with that? Well, my desk is clean now, and you'll see that it's already starting to dry out. So you saw those lines. This doesn't use a very uh, large amount of water. Again, this is the removable thing. Now again, I got a piece of plastic that it caught in there. So this was basically mopping up anything that it found and it was vacuuming it up through here and it was sucking it in. It does have a rechargeable stand. So you don't have to worry about plugging this thing in. You just set it down on its stand and it automatically cleans. The other cool thing is it's super easy to dump. Now I'm gonna plug it into this base here and then I'm gonna let you see the auto clean mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this thing in. Now this is automatically gonna start charging. So it just said that it's charging start. So you can see that reservoir. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell it to clean itself. I just hit the handle. Let's see if it'll do it. So it just said start self-cleaning. It's cleaning the, the brush now and it has a roller. Whoa! It's got a roller in there that it's cleaning with and that's got bristles. So it's gonna do that. What it was basically doing is it's using water from the upper reservoir. It's going through and it's back rinsing the roller, taking all that dirt and affluent here and puts it in here like this. It has a HEPA filter. It actually comes with two HEPA filters. This is a wet dry vacuum mop. Now down in there is where it's trapping any of the dirt and debris. So solids get in caught by this and can be dumped and all the liquids are right down there. So a wet dry vacuum for your home. It does have this washable brush so you can actually clean out Again, anything that it caught, you could go down here and you can clean that with this brush. And then it includes an entire identical second roller here. So if you need another roller, maybe you wanna clean this thing. One thing I'll recommend when you're starting out with this for the first time, get the roller wet. So get it wet and then squeegee it off so that it just has some water. You can use just water with this, but it actually will come with one unit of cleaner that has some surfactants in it that you might want to see. Now it says it'll run for 35 minutes in auto mode. If you switch it to maximum suction mode, which is awesome, it's going to be more like five minutes. It's very, very battery intensive to use the highest suction. We can do about four to 500 square feet with this on the battery, no problem. So you're going to get at least 30 minutes, 25, 30 minutes of usage out of it. I'm going to show you some video here that I took earlier. There we go. So this is what comes in. It's a fairly tall box. So I'm just looking straight down at it. So you're gonna have all the items like built right in there, exactly where you need them. This is what it looks like when you get everything out. So you're gonna have everything's nicely wrapped. You're gonna have all of your items. All you have to do is slide the handle in and lock it. It does that automatically. This was my first pass at trying to run it. Now, again, our kids leave stuff everywhere. They leave junk everywhere. So I was worried specifically about popcorn. That was one thing that I thought, oh, this is never gonna be able to pick up popcorn. And then I was wondering how it was gonna do. Is it gonna leave a big, soaky, wet mess? And it did neither of those things. It actually did really well. You can see the popcorn and crumbs and everything works perfectly like just a regular vacuum when it's on the, the normal mode. You don't even need the, the maximum power suction mode. This is a little bit of a different view of the same thing. This is again when I'm running with the water. The one thing I noticed here is it was actually leaving a few streaks from where the jets are. That's not normal. That's why I say you might want to get that roller wet the first time you use it just so you're not fighting a dry roller there. This is literally popcorn and it just bounces right over it and picks it up. It had no problem picking up large items. I thought that that was going to be its downfall. You know things up to the side 
size of about a marble, I think, are okay, because that's what it's going to be able to, to pass through. It's obviously not designed to pick up shoes or anything, so make sure you get your shoes out of the way there. And then here we go. This is... The milk test. So we dropped some milk down. We're gonna test it out real quick. And this is how well it worked. I didn't believe it myself. This is happening in my own home. Now we, it's a little wet on the floor because we already cleaned with it one time. We were just testing, you know, how it, well it worked on milk. And sure enough, it's gone. Uh, didn't leave any residue. It does have a cleaning solution. It's mixed 50 to one in the top reservoir. So this is how you put it in the base station. Just dropping it on in will automatically start charging. We were at 27% there. We uh, were using it and testing it out. I didn't charge it up fully like I probably should have in the beginning. So that's how you, you drop it in here. This is the cleaning mode I was talking about. Take a look at that. So that is literally going in and it's, you know, uh, running the roller. It's running extra water through it. It's doing some pretty cool job here. And you're going to see that start to splash around in there. This is from the tab company. Wanted to thank them for sending this thing out and making my wife super happy. Um, but again, this is something I would definitely recommend if you have hard surfaces or if you've got uh, soft surfaces even, and you just want something that can go in and clean just both everything, 